Okay, so we're here with episode five. Uh, I wanna do something a little different today. Uh, we're gonna do a chest training video, but I want the main focus to be on my muscle connection. It's a term that's thrown around a lot in the gym, and uh, I feel like it's just not explained uh, as best as it can be. So I'm gonna try to take this video to teach you my muscle connection. It's gonna make you better overall when you're in the gym and you will waste much less time uh, by implementing this tactic in your training. All right, so the first thing you gotta do to master the mind-muscle connection is have perfect form. So before you even get into the exercise, you wanna make sure you set up properly for the movement. So I'm gonna show you how to set up for flies. Now the reason we're starting with flies today is another, uh, it's another tactic to get a stronger mind-muscle connection. So you're gonna start with an isolation movement before you move to a compound movement. So I'm gonna show you how to approach a cable fly. down, right? Now is where the, the movement starts. Once you lay back, what you want to do is load your shoulder blades, okay? Pinch your shoulder blades in tight together and get your chest up here. Now you want to start in a stretch position. You want to be able to feel it in your chest before you start moving up. Okay, so get your chest engaged, feel the load, and then squeeze it up, keeping that same thing, that same form. Okay? Same speed up, same speed down. Alright? dumbbell press. Now this is a compound movement, it's a multi-joint movement. It's a little trickier to get that target muscle group to do all the work. Uh, it helped that we started with that isolation movement, but it still could be trouble for some if you're a beginner. So what I usually have my clients do when I'm trying to teach this is I'll have them actually do the movement with no weight. Just to try to get them to be able to flex and squeeze those muscles through that range of motion, just using their head, just engaging that muscle. So what I'll do is, okay, we're gonna go back into this uh, incline bench as if you had dumbbells in your hand, right? So I'm laying back, I do the same steps. I load my shoulders like this, I get my shoulder, my chest up higher than my front downs, right? And then I'm here, and then I tell them, okay, now squeeze your chest up, right? And squeeze it up, keeping your shoulders back, okay? Now do it a couple times. Okay, now once they get it, or once you get it, make a mental note, close your eyes, make a mental note of what that feels like, where your elbows are, where your wrists are, well, the range of motion you're in, okay? Okay, I feel the muscles engaged. Okay, now you pick up some dumbbells and now you do your same. It's gonna make it 10 times easier when you're trying to go to a multi-joint movement like an incline dumbbell press or a flat barbell press or whatever you decide to do. So, uh, practice that. Chest day, back day, leg day, doesn't matter what it is. That will help you get 10 times further into your training uh, than if you don't do it. So, Okay, so uh, the next movement we're gonna move on to is a flat uh, road multi-grip bar. So when you're picking this exercise, you know, to continue with the theme today, that is mind-muscle connection, you wanna go with the grip that you feel the most. So for me, the wide grip, uh, the further the grip out, the deeper the stretch I can get, the more I feel it in my chest. I start to feel it a little more in my shoulders and triceps as I get closer to, uh, to the grips. But that's not to say that it would be that way for you. So that's something you need to experiment with. So when it comes to this, in general, you are your own experiment. The only way you're gonna really learn your body is through trial and error. So try it. Try a set with the close grip, try a set with the wide grip, get a feel for it, and then once you figure it out, you can ride that to the real So this is going to be a superset that is going to target the lower chest and you're going to use partial ranges of motion in order to do that. So you got to play with it a little bit, find the sweet spot where you feel it the most and then stay in that sweet spot, effective range of motion. Okay, so we're going to superset a decline dumbbell fly with a decline uh, banded pullover. So we're just going to use the band. 
So we're gonna tire ourselves out with the dumbbells that when we pick up the band, we don't need a ton of resistance to get the most out of it. We're only gonna focus on the contraction and not the stretch. The stretch is where it's primarily lats. When you bring it up past your chest is when you're gonna start feeling it in your lower pack insertions. All right, so check it out. Get it. Share us. We'll see you next time.